Hello everyone. Today we will discuss one of the important topic of upper CSI net syllabus so that is biostatistics. Uh, biostatistics uh, question you can attain um, uh, without uh, to your only your theoretical knowledge. Uh, we will discuss the um, theoretical perspective how you can solve the problem easily. So see that first question and these are all CSI questions. So first is the symmetric <coughs> which one of the following which one which one of the following statement regarding the normal distribution is not correct which of the following distribution of the which of one of the following statement regarding normal distribution is not correct it is uh, symmetric around the mean it is symmetric around the median it is symmetric around the variation variation it is symmetric around the mode now it's in, in case of normal distribution normal distribution basically we get the bell shaped curve and normal distribution here the mean equal to median equal to mode and that's and, and there is that that means it's a symmetric about the around the mean symmetric around the median symmetric around the mode but it is not symmetric around the variance so answer is option three is the correct answer now see that in case of, of a, in normal distribution when the number of events is very large normal distribution represents the probability distribution of frequencies of of, of continuous variable whose frequencies are concentrated closely around the center and gradually fall towards the 2 end. Now we can see that the x axis is the normal distribution and y axis the frequency is given and now here is the these are the uh, bell shaped curve and here is the median equal to mean equal to mode. That means in case of normal distrib probability distribution the there is a 50-50 chance that is uh, mean equal to median equal to mode and and, and this prop, these are the properties of normal distribution. Now, normal distribution represents the common probability distribution of frequencies of a random continuous variable. It is perfectly symmetrical, and normal distribution curve is bell shaped. And for a normal distribution, mean equal to median equal to mode. In case of normal distribution, and uh, for a normal distribution, mean equal to median equal to mode, right? That is uh, in, in in case of normal distribution, it is not symmetric around the variance, right? It is symmetric around mean equal to median equal to mode. So it is symmetric around the mean, symmetric around the median, and symmetric around the uh, uh, mode, right? So next question, we'll see. Now, in a, a weed is assumed to be dispersed randomly in a meadow. What statistical distribution will describe the dispersion correctly? Now, here the statistical distribution, basically, um, in case of binomial distribution, is not possible because here is there is no chance of uh, either the equal probability of happening either. Uh, it will randomly disperse or not, right? So binomial distribution is not possible. Negative binomial distribution not possible. So normal distribution, it's it's also because there is no equal probability. So there, and this is the Poisson distribution is the possible way of that question, right? So next question we'll see. And in case of here, the following following are the statement depicted depict the relationship among the measures of the central tendency in a squid data set as a squid means when the data is shifted from its normal uh, normal distribution curve or that is from bell shaped curve when bell shaped curve it is shifted towards the right or towards the left right if it's a towards uh, now according to we call it as a positively uh, squid data set and negatively squid data set in case of positively squid data set we can positively squid data set mean greater than median greater than mode mean greater than median greater than mode and in case of negatively squid data set mode greater than median greater than mean now it's a answer is a and d now we can see that the in case of if it is a uh, positive normal symmetrical curve that is for bell shaped curve here is the uh, mean equal to median equal to mode and all are lie in a same point that's why it is a symmetric distribution and here the mean equal to median equal to mode mean equal to median equal to mode 
right but in case of here you can see that then in case of positively squeezed data set it's a here is the mean and mean is in x-axis you can gradually increase the point now mean is greater than median greater than mode mean is greater than here median greater than mode it is a positively squeezed data set and here the curve is negatively shifted from the from its normal point that's a mean is here is opposite to the positively distribution curve then here mode is greater than median greater than mean so mean is the last one in case of so in case of positively squeezed data set and negatively squeezed data set you will get the uh, reverse uh, relation right in case of uh, positively squeezed data set mean will be greater than median greater than mode but in case of negatively squid data set mode is the greater than median greater than mean right so next we'll see in a normal distribution now in case of binomial distribution uh, binomial distribution poisson distribution normal distribution binomial now you have to match that binomial distribution binomial distribution is a equal chance of observation one observation represent one of the two outcomes success or failure right so binomial distribution this a is the one that is a binomial distribution represents success and failure poison distribution and, and in case of normal distribution the probability distribution that is symmetric about the mean we have seen that previously in case of normal distribution there is a equal chance of that is a bell shaped curve we will get and and, and there is a equal chance of symmetry because mean equal to median equal to mode so probability distribution that is symmetric around the mean and so c here will be 2 and b is 3 and so probability of a given number of events happening in a fixed interval of time that is poison distribution so next question so only the outcome only the only two outcomes of success in case of binomial binomial distribution we see only the two outcomes success and failure suppose if you toss either head or tail here success is head or failure is the tail so probability of success and failure remain constant from from trial to trial that may that is the binomial distribution but point poison distribution if the value is n is very large and success is too small and there is no equal chance of success and failure then we will uh, calculate the poison distribution or and now here the variance so here is the variance variance will be calculate the spread distribution now chi square analysis chi square analysis actually uh, calculation of, of, uh, of deviation between the observed and expected values that is chi square so d is 3 d will be 3 d is present in 2 so you can a now variance variance actually calculate the spread of a distribution variance actually calculate the spread of a distribution correlation coefficient b that is correlation coefficient measures the strength of association between two variables measure the strength of association between two variables and regression analysis regression analysis is the prediction of values of a dependent variable based on the known value of an associated variables right so answer is three now next we'll see in a, the use of uh, kruskal wallis Crystal Wallis test is most appropriate in which of the Kuskal Wallis test is most appropriate in which of these cases there there are Kuskal Wallis test first of all it is a uh, non-parametric test right so non-parametric test uh, applicable when it is a uh, not, not the data is not symmetrically distributed right data is shifted from its normal bell shaped curve and it's a non -gen generally it is a non-parametric test and where uh, there is a there are the more than two groups and distribution of each group is not normal right so it's a non-parametric test and there is there are the more than two groups are there and distribution of in the each group is not normal right that is the kruskal wallis test it's a non-parametric test right uh, so answer is option two and now in case of two groups 
two groups controls and, and uh, treated are to be compared to the taste of the effect of a treatment since the individual variability is high in both groups the appropriate statistical test to use is now here the question is analysis of variation ken lee's test student e test and man whitney u test now here's the um, man whitney u test is the most appropriate but you can calculate with the treatment and uh, with the student t test also can be uh, can be possible answer but uh, most appropriate answer is the man whitney u test because here is the man whitney u test is um, it's a non parametric group of of a test that's why it's a option 4 is the correct answer now choose the correct uh, option answer from the statement below chi square test chi square test is a non is a parametric test no chi square test test is non parametric test non parametric test assume normal distribution no can actually in normal distribution is a parametric test parametric normal distribution or bell shaped curve for parametric test <coughs> non parametric test is more powerful as compared to parametric test uh, parametric test is more powerful than non parametric test right so options Three is the result can be significantly affected by outliers in a parametric test. Now we can see that the difference between parametric and non-parametric test. It's a parametric test or sample size is a larger sample size. Parametric test small or is applicable for smaller sample size. Nor in case of parametric test, there is a normal distribution. Curve will be normal distribution, but in case of non-parametric test, it's not normally distributed. And central tendency for parametric test will be mean, but central tendency will be in case of non-parametric test, it is median. And its parametric test is more powerful, and non-parametric test is less powerful. Examples are like J test, T test, ANOVA paired and unpaired T test. ANOVA is the analysis of variations and in case of non parametric test the chi square t test t chi square test man whitney u test and man candler's test and puskal wallis test is the non parametric test right so in in the frequency distribution of, of trees height in two uh, largest areas with different annual rainfall are given now here is two graph is given you have to observe the graph and from that observation you have to conclude uh, what the which statistical analysis we will use to calculate this data so which of the following statistical analysis will you choose to state whether the rainfall has an effect on the tree height now option 1 is given t uh, test for comparison of means a non parametric uh, comparisons of the two groups correlation analysis of rainfall and mean tree height regression of the tree height of on rainfall now here you can see that there is a uh, the first look at the uh, graph graph you can if you plot that this type is is not a symmetrical curve or a bell shaped curve so, and now here is also height and frequency and rain high rainfall now there is a this there is some deviation also there now observe that at a uh, area these are also these are gradually height lesser height and this a uh, number frequency is high low rainfall uh, and and height is gradually so is here it's a basically non parametric comparisons because it's a, a no, not normally distributed data is not normally distributed and, and you can t test you cannot do t test because of it's a uh, t test is applicable for parametric group it's a non parametric data set so non parametric data set is non comparisons of two groups non parametric comparisons of two groups now options 3 and 4 regression analysis of height on the rainfall not possible correlation analysis of rainfall and mean tree height so answer is option 2 is the correct answer